What is up guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be installing a strut bar from 271 and this is the neat part. I'm gonna be doing a before and after on my Civic and then I'm also gonna be doing a before and after on my wife's hatch only because I am lowered on iBox springs on the sport lines. So my handling already is a little bit better. I think another experiment with my wife's hatch who is on stock suspension would be awesome so we can get a very good comparison to see how it uh, reacts. This is a 271 strut bar that I bought. But the cool thing about this is that, well, actually, this was originally orange. I bought it off a subscriber. He reached out to me and gave me a really awesome deal to get this done on the car. The thing about this is I've had this since May of this year, and it took me a long time to finally get this installed. If you guys look right in the middle right here, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It looks green right here, but that's actually because the original color was orange. So this used to be the 271 orange, the original one it came with. I didn't want an orange strut bar. So I asked my boy Chris, shout out to Chris, he took this in, powder coated this for me, and did black. And it almost looks like there's like a flake on it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but this almost reminds me of like that not Nighthawk Pearl black that's on the eighth gens, how like the black has a little bit of flake on it. This almost reminds me of it. All you really need to do is disconnect these three bolts right here on both ends. And then you also need to disconnect negative battery cable because the strut bar sits right on top of it at an awkward angle, which it is included on the strut bar. And Homeboy was actually nice enough to include the negative cable. It's almost like a longer one. It goes around this way when I bought it. Better get it. I'm not. <laughs> I don't know where it is. So all I gotta do is tighten everything up and put the longer negative battery cable, and that's it. All right, cool. And don't worry, guys. I am gonna torque them down to factory spec. And last thing is just putting this one on there, which is very simple. And that's the install. Let's go test this out. So I am still on stock strut, or I guess no strut. So I'm making a turn right here. She's all the way over there, and I'm pretty much gonna be. And on the stunts. Went about 20. Ignore the dumpster. Dude, I already felt something different right there. Dude, it feels tighter. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that on camera, but this feels tighter. Like it is definitely a difference. Try it again. Dude, this feels good. All my tools are flying in the back. Now we're gonna do some experimental stuff and test it out with the hatch. Ended up already putting it on the car. So that's right there. Let's see if this baby makes an actual difference on stock suspension. Definitely feels, already felt the roll right there. <laughs> Holy shit. This is gonna be fun. bitch in sport mode oh yeah let's go oh dude so much body roll the 
back wants to like drift out if that makes sense let's see what the hatch can do now with it on oh dude less body roll already i wonder how it's gonna look on camera It like wants to tell fish a little bit, but it definitely made a difference right here. Last one. It was not bad. I did feel a difference driving it, but we will see once we start editing the video. That way you guys can physically see it. So now I'm just gonna put everything back to normal and start putting everything back on my car dude i really like how she looks really love how she's turning out <sighs> dude hood difference this weighs nothing to uh, <laughs> compared to the hatch okay guys look i do want to add on to this i know sway bars are more common when it comes to anti row i guess is what you would call it i know sway bars would definitely help with that but I thought it'd be cool to compare them and see how it would felt in the chassis to see if you can see a difference when it comes to with and without a strut bar. And right off the bat, you can feel a difference in the chassis. It does feel tighter. Now to see if there's a visual difference, I don't know, let's check it out. All right, looking at the video right here, guys, the one on the left has no strut bar. The one on the right does have a strut bar. What I'm getting at is you can barely see a difference. If not, it is very minuscule when it comes to the visual perspective. But I can tell you straight up that it does make the chassis feel a lot more tighter. It makes me feel a little bit more comfortable making that turn. Like I probably could have gone a little bit faster is what I'm saying, but I was limited on my uh, space. Now, the one that I did feel a bigger difference was on my wife's hatch. Like I said, right here, you can't really tell the difference. It's If anything, it's very minuscule, but overall, the strut bar did improve on it, even with stock suspension, stock power, stock everything on the hatch. I felt like I could have pushed it a little bit better. You know what I mean? So obviously, this is something I wanted to experience on a track or a bigger lot, but couldn't find one within the time frame, and I just wanted to get this video done for you guys so you guys can see a difference on it. Clearly, there really is not that big of a visual difference. You physically can't see the chassis stiffening up, I guess is what I would say. But it does make a difference. I do feel like a strut bar is worth it, especially if you're going to be taking it in the canyons, on the circuit. If you're just going to be daily driving your car. Mm, I heard that depending on speed bumps is what I, is what I heard it might absorb it a little bit better for your suspension considering it's connected to the struts i don't know like i i, I read about it heard different things so but let me know what you guys think do you guys, do you guys have a strut bar on your car do you guys think it's worth it but anyways i'll see you guys in another video you guys have a good day peace